What is going on, Earth 2 novice enthusiasts and everyone in between? Welcome back to another episode in which we are going to be discussing Earth 2, of course. Now, I've got some announcements that I want to go over. These are straight from CEO of Earth 2, our commander chief and messiah of the new world, Shane Isaac. I've decided to break them up in a number of different videos so that you don't get too lengthy and it allows you to get to just the videos that are of interest to you. Hopefully all of them are, but I'll probably also have some links popping up uh, above and maybe uh, even some links in the show notes. I don't know. Let's see if I remember to put them there. And if you want to skip ahead to different content, by all means do that. And also, remember, while you're down there, check out the other links, namely the sign-up link that will get you into the raffle for me to use your referral code, as well as enter the weekly LAN giveaway. So we've got two awesome prizes that you have the potential of winning for just filling out one contact form. Also, as a third benefit of that form, you will be put on my email list. Sometimes I don't have the time to shoot and edit and post a video, but I do get emails out pretty quickly so definitely you want to sign up for that form because you'll be put on the email list you'll be put into the referral raffle and you will be put into the free land giveaway raffle also make sure that you are subscribed to the correct channel intentional being is the channel that i go live on i will post earth 2 content on both channels intentional being and meal prep biz 101 but i only go live on intentional being and I post first to intentional being. So if you really want up-to-date information, make sure you're subscribed to intentional being, make sure you've got those alert notifications on and make sure you filled out that contact form so you're on the email list and you don't miss a single thing. But now that we've got that out of the way, let's jump into today's episode. All right, let's dive right into it. Shane Isaac talking about the system. Now you guys probably saw some recent videos. Uh, one of the announcements that he was discussing was their partnership with Mapbox, and they're using Mapbox. If you're not familiar with Mapbox, look them up. But basically, the tile system that is Earth 2, our ability to buy these lands in these uh, 10 meter by 10 meter tiles, in case you didn't know, those are the dimensions in real world. Uh, Mapbox is going to be helping them add so much more awesomeness to that. Uh, Shane writes, we have spent a lot of time on the tile system over the last few weeks and we have found a structure that will allow us to both continue to support the high value of the land class tiles or the high value of the class tiles and to provide permanently affordable tiles in the future which is great and i mentioned this in other videos they are definitely concerned with the long term interest in this project they don't want everything to get too expensive so that 5 years from now nobody can afford to get in they want to make sure that this is as widely used as possible, which is great for all of us who are entering now or have already entered, but it's also amazing for everybody who's coming in after us because it being fair to them makes it enticing for them to join, and that just further solidifies our investment. The more people that are coming to this, the better. So uh, where did I leave off? Uh, the base class tiles will then not have all the advantages of the high class tiles. High class tiles are going to be one through five. Now, when we first started, we knew that there was going to be one through three, and I was talking about it getting deeper and deeper, and I think it would go. Uh, I wasn't sure. I'm sure they were I knew they were going to have like a cutoff where they stopped numbering the classes because there's some countries that could just never enter the higher classes just because they don't have enough tiles. But uh, in, any class, in, in any case, the high class tiles are now considered one through five. And right now, there's only a, uh, I, I know the U.S. is beyond, like the U.S. is in like 600,000 tiles last time I looked. It might be beyond that now. Um, so they, they're out of the class five range, but most countries are still like below, like they're in class two. So there's no class one yet till Dubai. Check out the video on Dubai. That's coming out shortly. Uh, the video should already be out, but Dubai, depending on when you're watching this, might already be out. Hopefully you got some. Uh, but players will also be able to adapt their functionality very precisely to their own needs. Now, this also was something I mentioned, terraforming. That's what that sounds like, right? So terraforming would allow you to change what your land is so you can get a different resource. Let's say you bought some desert and you want that desert to be forest so you can get some lumber. I think that's what we're talking about. I, know, I don't know the extent of the terraforming. I don't know what it's going to cost. I'm assuming it's going to be payable in essence speculation 
pretty good guess if you if you were to ask me, but that's why I'm guessing it. But uh, continuing, it is rather exten- It is a rather extensive system that cannot be implemented overnight. Of course, they're only building a one-to-one scale replica of the Earth, right? And it still needs some time and attention to design, detail, and uh, preliminary work. But the question of whether high-class tiles will have advantages later on during phase two can now phase two and three can now be answered with a clear yes. The cost for these tiles will be justified and lit. Now I'm too old to be using lit, but uh, Shane has more coolness points than me, so he's allowed to use lit. But uh, nobody else, I, I wouldn't recommend anybody over the age of 25 using the word lit. That could be dangerous. You might use it in the wrong context. I'm not even sure if he used it in the right context here. But it sounds like it was the right context. It sounds like it's going to be exciting. Uh, they've they they've tried to keep you know the, uh, the, the cat in the bag with as much as possible while still kind of giving us hints as to what's coming. I think this is a good example. Um, we've known for some time, and I've mentioned this in other videos, the phases and the land classes i explained in other videos but discussing land classes specifically the value of the land will be based upon the scarcity class one while there is as much class one as class two as class three as class four as class five they themselves are going to be scarce because after that there will be no more and the higher or the lower the number of your class, the higher value it's going to be producing. What we understand, what we've been told is the resource output is going to be more substantial and your ability to make money off of the ads is going to be more substantial. What's that mean? Well, I'm imagining Earth 2 is going to take their cut on the ads. So I'm imagining if you have a class one tile, you would probably be getting a bigger percentage of that advertising cut. So if you bought some tiles in like Manhattan, like I've got, I think I've got one tile in Manhattan. When it comes down to advertising in some very popular place like that, and it happens to be class one, which I don't know if that Manhattan tile is class one, I forget. But if you were to have some primo location like that, and you were one of the early, uh, you know, early adopters of Earth 2, and you were buying in the heavily foot trafficked areas, where there's going to be a lot of advertising spend and you have class one, you're basically in the best position possible because then also whatever resources are generated out of that area are also going to be the most possible. Now to what scale, I don't know, but it's just always going to be better to have class one versus class two, class two versus class three, class three, you know, so on and so forth. And as long as you're within the first, uh, the, the top five, you're going to be good to go. I would definitely consider holding long. I know there's a lot of people who are flipping tiles, that's up to you. But if you've got some class ones and class twos, you're probably going to be kicking yourself in a little bit uh, when there's you know no class fives available. And uh, I shouldn't say a little bit. That, that might be over a year from now, but who knows? This, this is like growing faster and faster. Um, but I would suggest at least keeping some of those. Don't flip them all because you're going to be bummed out when you have like something beyond class five. It's going to be a bummer. And everyone else is going to be laughing at you. And I told you not to do it. I have got more episodes coming. I invite you to tune into those. Make sure you catch them by double checking that you've subscribed and you got those alert notifications on. Until one of those next episodes, I'm going to quietly look forward to us meeting again and me helping you navigate this marvelous, miraculous, magical, mystical, mysterious, meatball, magnanimous, misanthropic world of Earth 2.